Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, for those who remember very well, on 27th of March 2023, we had mass action in this country. But then at the same time, there was organized goons, allegedly sponsored by the state, who went to an extent of invading Mamangena Kenyatta's family land uh, in Ruiru, what they referred as Northland Farm. They cut down the trees. They even went further to uh, demarcate the land. They had title deeds. They even went further to take the, go the, the ships from that farm. And uh, after that, many Kenyans sympathized with the Kenyatta family, including even those who come from Mount Kenya region. Then, the other day, two days ago, Jeremiah Kioni issued a statement eh, on the plan to go and plant trees in the same land. And he confirmed many people from Mount Kenya region are willing to donate the trees, uh, seedlings to go and uh, plant another trees. Again, some are even willing to give their own ships just as a sign of sympathizing with the Kenyatta family and to, to just make them feel comfortable. So that was the plan. And in as much this was happening, eh, we are getting news that finally some ships are being recovered. Some people are now returning the ships back to the farm. They have recovered a total of 18 sheep and some are allegedly to have been uh, delivered back by some of the aid of two Nairobi politicians. comment section, please. I want to know who are these politicians. And then um, some were also abandoned at a Dandora police station, five of them. So the farm managers and the security have identified those ships through the, uh, uh, the there are some marks. They have some marks and they have been able to identify the ships and uh, the ships are back to the farm. And they are urging those who might have involved themselves in that act to please return the ship back. <laughs> but then, before this, there was a woman, an elderly woman, who was part of the Mau Mau fighters, who went to Mamangena Kenyatta's family home in Ichaweri. And she issued a statement threatening to cast, in fact, she cast those involved in the stealing of those sheep. And it was very clear, they either suffer or return. And beside this, the Kikuyu Council of Elders also came out and issued a statement. So it was very clear that it's either those who involved in stealing of the ships to return or they suffer. And this is the statement here. On April 3, elderly woman who claimed to have been Mau Mau fighter while in Kenyatta family, Ichaweri village, allegedly uttered a public curse on raiders, promising them to suffer. Then on April 10, elders from Kikuyu Council of Elders Culture Pillar Kiyama Kiyama, led by Mr. Rigami Siombogu, threatened to put a curse on all who disrespected the Kenyatta family. And I quote, we want even the bipartisan talk that are being mooted to spare a session to discuss such an act of aggression to a family that carries immense historical importance in the community and the country at large. So they were very clear. Even the bipartisan talk 
should involve this issue so that they can discuss it. Remember, the Kikuyu Council of Elders were talking about this because they were well aware going by the allegation that the state, some people in the state were involved in organizing those goons. Because Kemani Shunga was heard, heard loud and clear in the church, on the altar, issuing such a statement that suggests that people should walk into Kenyatta family land and take over. Some allegations are putting blame on Gashagwa because William Ruto was not in this country, so Gashagwa was taking full responsibility. He was in charge. Now people are returning back the properties, the owner. Why? That's a big question. Why? Before we continue, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, this one is also a lesson to Gashagwa and the team. If a curse happened, that curse, first of all, is going to go to the people who led in organizing the goons to go and uh, raid that land. Because already damage has happened and some damages can never be recovered. For example, the trees that were cut down. How do you recover? So people like uh, Chungwa and the team who are uttering those words and who are directing people there according to allegations, they will carry a burden of that curse. It is politics. Now, they, are, they, they will suffer politically. Because they are trying to play politics on someone's property. <laughs> I don't know Uhuru Kenyatta's family took these ships from whose farm? Well, I think they bought them. So as a farmer who has even employed people, why do you send goods to invade his land. So that move alone tells you that even those who are involved, who are used, are feeling that they did a wrong thing. It was a mistake. So they regret it. That's why they have been able to return back. And they understand the meaning and eh, what it will cost them by the fact that elders are now coming out to cast those who were involved in that act. So it is becoming a two-way traffic. You either return or you live by that curse. And that's why you are seeing the thing about some of the aiders uh, to two Nairobi politicians returned the ships back. They fear. They know what a curse can cost to them. That's why the, they send their aiders to return. Warudisha Malia Wenyewe. Hawataki Laana. So again, this tells you that people of Mount Kenya region still regard uh, Uhuru Kenyatta as one of their political leader. If not, they will not bother. So it is also a message to Gashagwa. What you wanted to achieve, if indeed that is the issue, then it is now thwarting. It has thwarted. Because now, soon you will see people going to that land, planting trees. Some will go there with their own ships, returning, uh, not returning, giving in the, in the act, act of just sympathizing with the family. And that alone will tell you that the mountain is still recognizing William Uhuru Kenyatta as their leader. Not Ashagwa, not Ishungwa, not Nindinyoro. None of the leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa. That is the message here. Otherwise, if they don't bother, then how will they return? How are they willing to go and plant another tree? So soon, for those who are keeping those sheep, what a rudish. It's a rudy. 
Watu wanjipanga tu kurudisha. Kondo and they will they, they will return. Wale wenye sasa wameshakula wajipanga kununua warudishe. So it tells you also how the Gema people respect the kikuyu kind of elders. It means they can either bless you or curse you. They believe in that. So it can happen. It is not a joke. Again, by the fact that the elders are now standing with the Kenyatta family, it tells you the person they recognize up to now as their leader. The man they blessed to lead them, the man they installed as their leader, they still recognize Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. Gashagwa is yet to be accepted as the next political kingpin of the mountain. That has been explained by the fact that these leaders are still going back to Kenyatta family and they are ready even to curse those who did this heinous act. They still stand by Uhuru Kenyatta side as their leader. So Mountain has, has refused to accept Gashagwa or Echungwa as their leader. They deeply recognize Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much. See you in our next video.